something out of the ordinary. Uh, something different than most sports. Were you excited when you found out that Loyola had a Oh my gosh, yes. That was, I mean, for me, this is like the perfect, the perfect thing for me because it's like, I mean, it's a team sport. You've got the team thing and it's also combines like Harry Potter is one of my favorite things yeah. ever. So it was, yeah, I was very, very excited. At first I was astounded because I really wasn't sure how you would adapt that to real life and the ground. What is the difference between Harry Potter Quidditch and Loyola's Quidditch? We can't can actually fly. Can't fly. We have a person, they dress all in yellow, yeah. um, and they have the flag, it's like flag football, and they can oh, go anywhere okay. on campus, um, they just can't go inside buildings. So and they can hide and ride bicycles now. If you could describe Quidditch in one word, what would it be? Intense. Super awesome. It's for the high fit. Have you guys ever been harassed or teased for being on the team? Yes. Yeah. Especially when I'm seeking. Like, you know how they're playing a game, I have to go outside our campus. Uh, I smile and wave to them. Because you run around on the roof, right? Yeah, and goggles. <coughs> That's apparent. They're like, Hermione! And I'm like, no, my name's Laura. Regardless of whether or not people are making fun of you, you get a sort of like, what? Like a really yeah. like incredulous reaction. But you get a lot of people that are like, you are so stupid, this is the dumbest thing ever. I heard someone bash us for a watch. Like, man, oil quid is so lame, they don't even fly. Well, you get to work on that, buddy, and get back to us, because uh, uh, God love us, we keep trying. Do you think that Quidditch could take uh, the place of Loyola's non-existent football team. It already has. What are you talking about? Pretty much. We have so many fans. It's yeah. not even funny. Woo! <laughs> Our fans. Yeah. <laughs> fan number one. <laughs> one fan. How are you allowed to get people to support? Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's full contact. Um, we actually had the most DMT calls of anything on campus last year. Wow. Even over drunk, like, drunk students. We've also had several concussions. Well, we just collided and I was perfectly fine. He was just on the ground. <laughs> I cannot like literally punch and kick anybody. But as far as tackling goes, as long as you maintain one hand on the broom and keep it a one arm tackle, it's perfectly legal and encouraged and frequently done. Monday practices after a weekend of games, we kind of do like 10 minutes of like, let's compare how bad our bruises are. Do you have any pre-game rituals you like to do? We always do our standard warm-ups and stretches. Okay. When we do our lap around, we're shouting Harry Potter pickup lines at each other. You look like you'd be good at Quidditch. Want to ride my broomstick? Ooh. Hagrid's not the only giant on campus. Platform <laughs> nine and three quarters, I know something else with those measurements. <laughs> I'll be your griffin whore if you slither into my bed. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say to those people who want to Why aren't you on my team? And if they're worried about teasing, then forget that because, I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're having fun. We're playing a tough sport. We've got a lot of fans, actually. Let's be honest. We are playing Quidditch. Um, I feel like if you're doing it to be a competitive athlete, this is the wrong sport for you. <laughs>